For many, Thanksgiving dinner at a San Francisco restaurant is something they look forward to each year. But this year, that tradition is over after this latest COVID surge has triggered a new shutdown for all indoor dining. NBC Barry's Christy Smith shows us the scramble to change plans. Coming to the top of the mark on Thanksgiving is a tradition for some people, and the hotel put protocols in place to try and make that happen again this year safely. But after the city's announcement that indoor dining would soon be off limits again, plans here changed. We're standing at top of the mark with amazing city views. The windows freshly cleaned to take in that view is the top of the mark plan to reopen next week and prepare for Thanksgiving. We have a tradition here of hosting Thanksgiving a brunch actually and lunch throughout the day with a big buffet. This year we had uh, changed it obviously to be compliant with limited uh, um, occupancy of 25%. And then menus that were tailored to be individually a la carte served. Michael Pace is the GM of the Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel. He says those plans changed after Mayor London Breed announced new rollbacks because of a spike in COVID cases. People had already made reservations to eat at the top of the mark for the holiday. Now it's a matter of calling them back and saying, unfortunately, we can't do that. For me, the most difficult thing is to tell the staff who were going to come back. The hotel remains open, and the new plan is to pivot again. We definitely know Thanksgiving is not going to happen on top of the mark, but we'll do the, the to go orders online. We had a lot of customers who stop by and ask uh, if we were going to be open, and we say yes. At Franco's Latin table, they plan to open for Thanksgiving at lunch, but also plan for just outdoor seating and mainly food to go. Now we're going to open for the lunch time and do like a small roast chicken for small families so that way they can do like small dinners at home in san francisco christy smith nbc bay area news